All right, let me check my uh, phone here. This is, uh, we're sitting here in um, the Eastern Cape, Southern Africa, Eastern Cape meaning South Africa, and Dumbaza to be specific. And I'm just checking, oh, look at this. Think Project Records has a, this embarrassing interview signals Donald Trump may be in trouble in Wisconsin. Politics. Yeah, let's talk politics. Let me turn this thing on. Let's talk politics for a second. Yeah, there's, a, there's an election going on. It's electoral season in the United States of North America right now. And um, uh, everybody's afraid of Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Uh, and it's quite interesting because I have several uh, takes on Donald Trump. One, I don't think he ever wanted to be president, okay? And he's, try, he's actually, he's done everything to eliminate himself. But every time he does it, he gets more and more and more power. So he's sort of trapped in this thing. But here's the thing, if he gets it, he wins. If he doesn't get it, he still wins. He's just the most famous person on the planet at that particular, even right now, you know? In fact, if, if it keeps on going away, he'd be more famous than Muhammad Ali was famous. Anyway, but that's, that's it. So, so everybody's worried about Donald Trump. That's not what I'm worried about because there's, to tell you the truth, in the electoral system in the United States, let me just try to explain this to the United States of North America. There's basically your, your primary season, which we're in right now, then there's a the general election. But even in a primary season, you break it into two halves. One half is when um, basically all the southern states vote. And then the second half, right about now, is when the northern states start, northern, western, whatever states start, the rest of the states start to vote. Okay? So what has happened? Is, um, is, is let's stay with the, well, with the Republican Party, they did whatever they're going to do. And uh, nobody seems to like uh, uh, um, uh, Donald Trump. Uh, and so uh, he has his own problems. The party's against him. The, the, the media loves him because that gives him ratings. But, uh, you know, he's going to, and, and eventually the people won't like him. So we'll see what happens. If he gets in, well, Mussolini, great. Uh, not great, but that be a Mussolini-esque uh, states we'll have. Okay, so let's concentrate on the Democratic Party right now. Hmm. Now, here's the thing. When, uh, when this thing started, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, who was uh, Bill Clinton's wife, uh, first lady a long time ago, she became senator in New York City, and she's been eyeing this thing to be a president for a long time. She ran against Barack Obama in 2008, and, you know, we, we know how that turned out, okay? So she, this time, she put all her ducks, tried to put all her ducks in a row, and nobody was challenging her. But lo and behold, I don't know, last year, around about October, whenever it was, uh, Bernie Sanders emerged. He didn't have any possibility. He was just doing it just to have some issues. Well, turns out that he has gathered so much momentum. It's called the burn movement. Anyway, he's got so much that everybody's worried. Not everybody. Everybody in the establishment is worried because basically what's happening is Bernie Sanders is running against the establishment and Hillary Clinton is the establishment. You have to understand this. This is very interesting because Bernie Sanders is one of what we call a rare politician. In other words, his positions that he takes, that he talks about, he has started from the time as he began his, by the time he got out of college in like whenever, the 70s, whatever it was, you know, rather the 60s. And, 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 and when he became mayor of Burlington, Vermont, whenever it was, you know, 82, whenever that was, he started, and it was, he was a politician since then, an official politician since then, okay, but in the independent party, which means that he doesn't, that he doesn't, um, uh, he's not a Democrat or Republican, but for the purposes of running in this big election, he became a he he, he wants the Democratic Party backing, so he he became a, he, he becomes a Democrat. Anyway, but if you look at his positions, he's been consistent, consistent since since the eighties. Everything he talks about is consistent. That's a rare politician. Most politicians they they change, they go with you know they change. Even, in fact, let's do it this way. Look at somebody like uh, Martin Luther King. Or Malcolm X, they started one way and they sort of evolved to a position. You see, you see what, I'm, what I'm getting at. Well, what happens is Bernie Sanders. He's always had a position, and he just kept on, keeps on going. This, that, so, so what's happening is you have the establishment uh, 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 is don't want him, so the media doesn't cover him. You know, the politicians all lined up against him. The big money people, they all don't don't want. That. You know, so he's got that. On the other side, you have Bernie, you have uh, Donald Trump, same same thing. They don't want him, but you have this movement under him with all these, uh, uh, oh, um, they call them uh, white supremacist kind of people, leading people, you know, the, uh, the, the, they, uh, they're they going like, hey, this is our guy. So they put their movement under Donald Trump, okay? So, so they're just sort of jockeying under Donald Trump. Now, let's go back to the Democrats. Now, we have black people. I'm sorry to say this, but see, black people in the United States, they're not as... Um, 
oh, man, I don't want to say it this way. I have to say this. They're not as smart as those redneck white boys, right? Or white people. Because they don't know how to jockey. They don't know how to, to put a movement under a candidate. So they just go, oh, Hillary, we know her. Oh, no, no. Instead of building a movement under Bernie, Bernie Sanders, you know, movement, they, they just go with, with Hillary. So now you have the, all these southern states, all these people have been bought out, you know, been what we call brought to heel. <laughs> by H E E L by Hillary Clinton. Now they're stuck with Hillary Clinton. Whereas now these states are going to vote now, like uh, like Wisconsin and New York and several states are going to vote now. California eventually. You know these states. Uh, maybe these folks will be sophisticated. Enough, hey, let's go with Bernie Sanders. So if we hedge our bets, so if he gets in, we'll have some power. You know what I mean? But now, here's the thing. Will they do it? We don't know. Will they do it? We don't. We have no idea. Will they do it? So let's just uh, see what happens. But until then, well, it's 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 fun and games. Now remember the second half. The the the, the second half of this thing. The second half of the Molotov. Okay, just a second. I'm recording something to the people in the states. You know, this is a brother Ati. It's his house that we're recording in. So what happens is. Uh, 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 um, the, the second half, this is northern half, we'll see what happens. So if we get somebody like Bernie Sanders against Donald Trump, that'll be the general election from about July, August until November. Let's see, and that's what you should be looking at. We should be looking at anything else right now. So let's see what happens. Anyway, this has been T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know when I only suspect.